Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with Vintage Jewelry Haul. Now, these are something that I misplaced for a long time. And they are Bakelite or Crystal Light, which is a Bakelite substance that is kind of clear. And they're carved. You can hear that odd noise. Uh, they don't come up as uh, yellow in testing, but they do come up as the smell with the formaldehyde. Um, so, super excited that I found those. It's definitely a different clunk than anything else. I absolutely love those. Also came across one of my favorite Avon rings. This is just so pretty. Oh, this is also my favorite. Little huggy couple. This is adjustable. so pretty and this is like super old it's the prettiest Avon ring that I've had came across this I don't think it's vintage but Kate's Bay brand new original price 48 it's always more expensive in Canada maybe it's not as expensive it's just like the like you know how the dollar is there or something. Really pretty. Came across that. And also, my all-time favorite. Remember, I took this to the jeweler because it was so rough. You couldn't see any shine in those stones. They were dead. It's gold-filled. This, you know, it's kind of a little bit missing because he did kind of grind it down to make it look you know, more presentable, but I don't have the light overhead on. I don't know if it makes a difference. Let me, it, it buzzes because it's fluorescent, but it does help. So just have to get over the buzzing, but I love this. I have to remember to wear it. Please remind me to wear it because <laughs> I absolutely love it. Now these are for sale anybody wants these these are um, 48 a piece so if you wanted to have those just let me know usually everything is for sale but um, oh this this too this let me get my thing and tell you what the name is on here this you probably know the name Uh, RLM studio yeah but it's it's a it's a bigger ring but it looks nice on on any here oh for the love of heck can I not knock that down okay so let's see it's it's a nine and a half this is available sterling silver nice little like pinch on it yeah so if anybody wants that it's nice and thick, 40. But I'm just showing you. But if anybody wants anything, this I held on for the longest of times because it's absolutely the most beautiful stick pen. And it does say sterling inside. It's really old. I don't have a sterling little stopper to match, so. But it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But if anybody's interested in anything, um, please let me know. This, these are really neat. I had two of these. The other one actually had um, some initials on it, but somebody did purchase it. Uh, let me show you. It's 4E Sterling 925 with a little cross. I don't know that symbol, but it's like a pendant or even an enhancer. Or you can do it another way and get it inscribed on there. Some beautiful roses. That's also available. Look at this. This cute little apple. Love that. I don't think it has a maker. I have had some cute ones from um, Monet. But that doesn't have any maker on it. 
this, I'm still looking for the necklace that goes with it because this is really considered iris uh, glass. But, and I also had a chain and I think it needed to be repaired so I ended up taking it off. But yeah, this is iris glass pendant. Needs a chain, but these are like Victorian super cool. These are just hook earrings. They're really old enamel. And the other one is stuck to a thing. The enamel's not in the greatest shape. I don't know if you would consider it cloisonne, but they're sterling and enamel. Like I said, not in 100% greatest shape, but beautiful. The other one doesn't want to come out because it's a hook, as you can see. It wants to hook onto everything. But I will get it unhooked, I promise to you. There we go. Yeah, it gives me some cloisonne vibes, as they say. And they're really old and they're beautiful. Those are also available. Trying to clean things out. Oh, yes, and I'm going to have a sale on whatnot on Saturday. I'll put the link in here. And uh, please join me, just to, at least so for some moral support, because uh, I'm gonna give it another whirl. I'm not that great at whatnot, but. And I will give you the link for the coupon you don't have to buy from me to get the coupon. You can buy from anyone and whatnot. But I'm gonna give it another shot and see what happens. And just try to untangle stuff. How y'all doing? Oh my goodness. You know what it is? These um, gold filled chains are so, like, I don't know. They're so delicate. They're so entangling. But then again, this one is closed in the chain, so that's fine. But anyway, here it is. <gasps> Love it. It's got a little nick on there, but this, I don't think it's onyx. I think it's more like jet. And I always thought it was just the finger, like holding like that. But one from my, what I read about it was two things. Either it was the thumb or it was holding a bird. I, I don't know if I'm confused or they're confused, but I've read so many things about it. But it's super cool with the bracelet. Looks like it's got some, some glue action on there. But it's still on there. And that's not even a chip. It's like a discoloration. And that says 14K. This was added on. I didn't add that on. But this was added on here. And somebody tried to keep it still by gluing it. But it's on there. Why they did it so sloppily is beyond me. But it's, it's super cool. I love that. Sorry if I said that again. This I still have. Now this is the camo bake light. And I had this before I even picked up those bugs. The camo the camo bake light bugs. So that's crazy to me. But yeah, they said that this was bake light and amber. But you know, I, I had no idea because I wasn't familiar with the Camel Bakelite. But, of course, I love it. So this is a pendant, which is amber. And the Camel Bakelite. That is super cool. This is also available. I was just looking for my, my Camel Bakelite to show you guys the comparison on the bug and everything that I have, but I put it to the side, you know, 
so as not to lose it. <sighs> so that is available. This I've had forever. I fell in love with it and I thought I have no use for it, but I'm going to make a bracelet out of it. I didn't. It's a silverite. F A Co or something, F and C, and I thought maybe I'd take a piece of ribbon, put it through here, and just make a bracelet because it was too beautiful to just scrap. Talk about gorgeous, right? Oh, this. If anybody has a green stone, I could put in there because I just can't leave it. This right here is empty, but I love this. I love that. I love the shape. I love the stones. I love how they're just there. Look at this. This is adorable, but it's teeny tiny. It's not even a four. Vintage pink stone. I don't think this is silver. No. I guess it's just a vintage like... Yeah, oh, you can see the copper coming through. But how pretty is that? Can anybody tell me why this is happening? Because I don't know. I still have this. I didn't wear it. Sterling, Sterling Chain, Onyx Heart, wrapped pretty cool in Sterling. That's available. I got it from Gina. Sorry, Gina. I never wore it. You know how it is, girl. You know, you just get hooked on stuff. Oh, look. This is really pretty. But I remember this was marked with sterling. Part of it's sterling, part of it's not. But this is really pretty if anybody wants this. Like I said, I gotta get rid of this stuff. I have too much stuff and I wanna buy more stuff. Hence the poll that I put on my, um, my channel that said, should I do a video of the antique shop that I'm gonna go to? Do a haul, try to do a video. I have this other earring. These are sterling. I have the other one. I know I do. So I'm going to ask permission if I can film in there, of course. And then I'm going to do so if I can. And I don't think I'll have a problem, but we shall see. And then I'm going to do the haul and a sale, probably. But yeah. That, we're, we're talking about my favorite antique shop that I used to get mega amazing things from. But since the pandemic, they were closed to the public. So now they're opening up. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Here we go. This is really pretty. But I have to get rid of stuff. I need to cleanse so I can buy new. This is actually so cool. Watch. This reminds me of the days back in the day when I used to have those big bags of messes and everything was tangled up and I felt so bad that I was taking time to untangle, but this is Necessito. Oh my goodness. And you know what happens? I work 10 and a half hours a day and then I come home and then make dinner and do all the stuff. And, and I'm like, I gotta, I want to make a video. I gotta, I gotta get, get going on that. And cause I love to share the stuff with you, but it's like so so late. I don't even know what time it is. But I feel like I post them too late sometimes. Sometimes I post them too early. 
This is, I think, Moss Agate Gold Filled Necklace. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. Yeah, I don't know what it is about gold filled jewelry. I just think it's so much better quality. Um, the stones are amazing. They get tangled. It's so much fun. I don't know what it is. It's the it's the watch that doesn't open. It's the scarab watch that doesn't open. So everything that's tangled on there just wants to be tangled. So, but I will eventually, this is gold filled too, onyx and gold filled. This has got like three tiers of craziness. I love it. But yeah, this is really cool. Gold filled with the moss agate. That's the little gold filled doodad right there. I don't know if you can call that a cartouche, can you? That's really neat. I love that. Great quality. I'm just thinking this is just gonna unlock itself somehow. But this is what happens if you don't organize, I guess I should say. Oh, what is this? That's pretty. Oh my gosh, you know what? Don't even, don't even. You should, somebody should just punch me right now because I am upset. This is, oh my gosh, this is Tiffany. This is really a Tiffany earring. Yeah. I don't know. Anybody who's saying you really need to organize yourself and you're kind of ridiculous is absolutely right. Because now I need to look for this other. This is 14. I think it's 18 karat gold and sterling Tiffany earring. And I know I have the other one. These are 14 karat. Just in in here. Yeah. So that's one thing I have to do. Look for that Tiffany earring or I'm not going to be able to sleep. Oh, look. A sterling Donald Duck. I'm so mad at myself right now. I can't even tell. I can't even. Yeah, these are really pretty. I think they're meant to be dark and light. They're finally going to have the company Christmas party, which I went to once for my husband and it was outrageously wow. You know what I mean? So since I lost 115 pounds, yes, yes, um, I'm going for the gusto. I am going for sequins. No, just kidding. I'm going, but I am, I'm going to get a new dress. I'm going to get a dress. I'm going to do it. Uh, oh, here's the necklace. I don't know why this is on here. I've been collecting these and this should not be on there. Yeah, these I've gotten in from that antique shop that I was talking about. These are in some of the bags. And I've been trying to put them together because I absolutely flip and love them. This was the necklace that was with the, um, the iris glass. Where'd you go, iris? Here she is. This needed a new little loopy loop. And I believe this is also sterling. Let's take a quick look, see. I'd be shocked if it's not, but this is what happened. Okay, okay. Uh, no. It looks sterling. 
man. Anyways, it needs a little silver loop, which, let me tell you, this tray has a ton of them. So, it, that's probably two. I don't know. But yeah, that belongs with the iris glass. These earrings are sterling. Now, I'm going to end it now and go look for the other Tiffany earring. Wish me luck. Okay? Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this necklace, guys. This is the one I always forget. <laughs> Remember, it's got that crown and the little thing, but I love it. It's got all the stones and it's flexible. It's like kind of an updated tennis necklace. And none of the stones are missing. They make some good quality stuff. But, you know, the name always escapes me. I can remember useless things, but not when I, not the useless, the useful things when I need it. Oh my goodness. Yep. So I should just keep a notepad near me and say, these are things that I always forget. Jot them down, Sally. But I love that necklace. It's super awesome. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I am going to... <gasps> Remember this fish? Look at how cute. I don't understand this pin, though. It's Trafari. Look at the pin. Like you just poke it in something. I love that. That's glass. Look at that. Love, love, love. Okay. I will come back with an update when I find that Tiffany earring. Until then, I will see you soon. <laughs> Wish me luck. Thanks, guys. Bye.